Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the Arizona Cardinals versus Seattle Seahawks Week 17 matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I like to collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various data points. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you are new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So, starting with this matchup between the Cardinals and the Seahawks, uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data just deals with the basics. Uh, it deals with uh, how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing um, based on various uh, downs and distances here. And... When you look at this information, you know, when you look, when you look at the overall data, uh, pretty much favors the Seahawks. But it's surprisingly pretty close between both of these teams. Uh, I was very surprised by that, but definitely a lot closer than I would have expected uh, for the Seahawks. Uh, the Seahawks are definitely favored, but, but very close. But let's get into some reasons as to why. Um, so first off, the one thing to kind of get off the bat is the Seahawks do have a better offense. Uh, they don't turn the football over as often as the Cardinals do in terms of turnover ratio. Uh, the Seahawks also don't allow as many sacks compared to the Cardinals. And the Seahawks also have a better offensive score percentage, which is basically just the ability uh, to put points on the board uh, on every drive more consistently. Uh, the Cardinals, however, are favored in terms of defense. Uh, the, the Cardinals have a better defensive offensive score percentage compared to the Seahawks defense. Uh, but the Seahawks have a better turnover ratio, a better sack percentage, and the Cardinals have a better interception percentage. So um, in many ways, the defenses are kind of split a bit, but the Cardinals have a slight edge uh, because they're able to kind of prevent more points. Uh, by far the most important defensive statistic is defensive offensive score percentage, which is basically the ability to prevent points. And again, defenses that are able to prevent more points typically win more football games, obviously. Uh, and uh, in that aspect, that's also what's kind of keeping uh, this kind of game kind of close between both these teams uh, in, in a certain way. Um, it's because the Cardinals defense is... is has a sort of uh, pretty interesting kind of lead uh, over uh, the Seahawks defense. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to special teams data, so now we're getting into uh, punt return yardage, which favors the Cardinals, uh, kick return yardage favors the Seahawks, defensive punt return yardage, and defensive kick return yardage favors the Seahawks, um, field goal percentage favors the Cardinals, uh, extra point percentage favors the Seahawks, and punting average favors the Cardinals. Um, so when you look at the overall special teams data in terms of who has the better special teams, um, the Cardinals do slightly. Um, field goal percentage is by far the most important statistic when it comes to special teams data. Um, the Cardinals have a better field goal percentage. Uh, not, it's not amazing, but it is better. And again, in many ways, um, field goals decide a lot of different things. Uh, winning a game can come down to a field goal. Tying a game can come down to a field goal. So um, field goals are very important, and the team that typically is able to consistently get field goals uh, is more often going to win uh, football games. You know, pretty you know, in terms of tight football games, especially. So, um, the Cardinals have the advantage in terms of special teams slightly due to that field goal percentage. Uh, the Cardinals also have a slightly better defense, and the Seahawks have a slightly better offense. Um, the Seahawks are still favored in this game, uh, but. It's a lot closer than you might expect, than I was expecting, um, considering kind of how low the Seahawks have gone when it comes to their offense and their defense. Um, this Seahawks team has not exactly been what it used to be in the past, uh, to say the least. And then, of course, when you get to some other sort of data points, so now we're getting into some micro uh, matchups. And, and when you look at the Cardinals offense versus Seahawks defense when it comes to completes percentage data, uh, pretty much favors the Seahawks across the board in terms of first, second, and third down in terms of completion percentage. 
Um, so definitely kind of more so favors the Seahawks here in terms of that particular uh, data point. Uh, and then, of course, we look at the Seahawks offense versus Cardinals defense uh, in terms of completion percentage, where the Cardinals uh, defense is favored in terms of first and third down uh, when it comes to completion percentage. Uh, so definitely kind of favors them in terms of uh, those particular uh, downs and distances. And then, of course, we get to rushing downs. Uh, so this is Cardinals offense versus Seahawks defense when it comes to rushing offense. And in this particular area, uh, the Seahawks defense is favored on first, second, and third down uh, when it comes to those particular aspects of the game. So definitely kind of favors them uh, on those uh, downs and distances. And again, first down conversion rate with the run um, has nothing to do with yardage or explosive plays. It purely has to do with the ability to either prevent first downs or create first downs in various downs and distances. So um, from that aspect, the Seahawks are kind of favored in terms of those three areas. Uh, then, of course, we look at the Seahawks offense versus Cardinals defense when it comes to rushing downs. And in this area, the Seahawks are slightly favored on first down and slightly favored on third down. I would say this is actually pretty even um, because the, the Seahawks are slightly fa are not like heavily favored in terms of those two downs and distances. I'll give the slight edge to the Seahawks, but this is definitely a little bit more even uh, when it comes to the ability to run the football and also the Cardinals' ability to prevent, uh, you know, the, you know, the, those areas from happening. Then, of course, we get to passing downs, and again, this is the Cardinals' passing offense versus Seahawks' passing defense. Uh, where the Seahawks are favored in terms of second and third down. Um, so again, in many ways, the Seahawks are favored in terms of those two downs and distances. The Seahawks' defense, anyways. Uh, and then, of course, we look at the Seahawks offense versus Cardinals defense, where the Seahawks offense is favored on second and third down uh, in terms of those uh, particular areas. Then we get to sack rate uh, between the Cardinals offense and Seahawks defense, where the Seahawks are favored on first, second, and third down. So there will be sacks. I'm pretty, pretty confident that uh, because of this high, high disp uh, disparity, that the Seahawks should find some success in terms of creating sacks in this game uh, on those downs and distances. Then we get to sack rate between the Seahawks offense and Cardinals defense, where the Cardinals will probably get some sacks as well uh, in terms of uh, second down and third down. Um, both those areas, there's a very good shot that the Cardinals could get some sacks as well that could be big game-changing kind of plays. Uh, and then, of course, we get to interception ratio with the Cardinals offense versus Seahawks defense. Uh, where the Seahawks defense is favored on first, second, and third down. So very likely that the Seahawks uh, will get some uh, turnovers and stuff on those particular downs and distances. And then finally, we get to the Seahawks offense versus Cardinals defense when it comes to interception ratio, uh, where the Cardinals are favored on first and second down. Uh, first and second down, big down and distances to watch. The majority of the interceptions that the Seahawks have thrown have come on first and second down, and the Cardinals do a pretty good job of getting picks in those particular areas. Um, so those are the those are the main downs and distances to watch to see what happens in this game. Um, so overall, general impressions of this game, uh, I think it's going to be a Seahawks victory. I think when you look at the overall data, you know, you look at the offensive data, you look at the defensive data, uh, you get into some of the uh, the micro data as well and I just have a feeling that the Seahawks will be able to kind of put everything together and win this game um, it's at home as well for the Seahawks so that's definitely another advantage for them uh, but uh, but don't sleep on the Cardinals team I mean this is a it's very uh, this is very much a very odd game for me just because of how close it is in, in data terms um, in fact the Cardinals do have a better defense also kind of, is kind of interesting you know, from a statistical standpoint. Uh, but uh, but overall, I will go Seahawks here. But let me know in the comment section below, uh, who do you believe is going to win this football game? Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well. Uh, with anybody that you know uh, hit that notification button so that you're always notified when another video of mine drops and i will talk to you guys in the next video peace